extent. No, let's go to the next level. Okay, thank you. For those of you on TikTok, this should be normal because of a ton of lip syncing that happens there. Content creators are almost out doing one another to attract the most eyeballs. But it appears the creativity of a trainee nurse at the Nalerigu Nursing and Midwifery Training College, Mohamed Mubabatu, may have landed her in trouble. Her attempt to mimic this comic video has incurred the wrath of the mother body. To go to nursing school. So I have go and buy the forms and I will be going to nursing school very, very, very soon. So in case you are graduated and you see me in the hospital, I mean working in the hospital, I'm begging you, ladies and gentlemen, run for your life because I may kill somebody there. So in case you are graduated and you see me in the hospital, I mean working in the hospital, I'm begging you, ladies and gentlemen, run for your life because I may kill somebody there. The Nessun and Midwifery Council has already dissociated itself from the content of a video summoning her over the matter. In a statement, the council noted Section 7A of the Code of Professional Conduct of Nurses provides individuals uphold the reputation of a profession and behavior must at all times bring credit to the profession. Section 7H of the same code enshrines that members desist from abuse of social media and ensure it does not interfere with their professional practice. The Nessin and Midwifery Council says it is investigating the matter and necessary sanctions would apply if she is found culpable. The council also cautions against the use of uniforms for non-professional or unapproved activities. Bas, a young lady at the center of a controversy, says she regrets her actions, adding she only jumped onto the comic trend on TikTok to excite her followers. On TikTok, if there's a sound that is out, you always try to hop in and exhibit your talent. Then I decided to also get into the trend. So I used my uniform to do the English version so that it will make it more creative. Those words were never from my heart and it's not my intent to hurt anybody in future or now. Mohamed Mubabatu says despite having been given the opportunity to explain her side of the story, she has contemplated suicide. The Nursing and Midwifery Council, I'm so sorry for tarnishing our image and to my school too. I'm sorry and to the whole public. I'm just holding myself and with the support of the school and other people, like by now I would have done something to myself cause the backlashing, I, I can't take it. But for General Secretary of the Ghana Registered Nurses and Midwives Association, David Oforitin Crunchum, the lady needs psychological assistance. We shouldn't kill the uh, flies, a sledgehammer. Uh, she has dead. She probably might need some psychological support, which I believe if she was even a, a full-blown nurse would have done that. I believe that we will be able to reach her out and put her through some psychological uh, management that will not aggravate her situation. He has been appealing for clemency. The, I'm sure she, she has regretted her actions and as much as possible we will please the council to temper the abuse of mercy and if there is any form of punishment that will be meted out to her, it shouldn't truncate uh, her quest to become a mess.